Hey y'all, how you doing? It's your baby boy. We're gonna be talking a bit about my closet. What I've been wearing a lot as of late, some brands that I really like. I also wanted to give you guys a bit of a two cents on my sense of fashion. I'm not a fashionista, you know, I, I love clothes and I, I can appreciate when something looks really dope, really cool, but like, you know, I spent many years of trying to find what works for me. I feel like I finally found my sense of style. You know that saying when it comes to working out where you have to find that mind-body connection? to like really feel the muscle to really work it that's the same mentality I try to give to to my own fashion style if I feel good wearing it if it makes me feel beautiful sexy then I know I'm doing something right then I know that like maybe this is something that's working so I want to share a bit of that with y'all today I get this question asked a lot on all my socials whenever people see me I don't know if you guys have noticed I wear a lot of tank tops like your boy works hard for all this right here so I like to share it off so where I buy my tank tops what brand I wear all all the time is fruit of the loom baby as simple as that i go to target i buy most of my clothes that i wear a lot these days i get from like target target's been stepping up their game with the quality of clothes they have it's affordable too there's many different tank tops out there and everyone's body type is built different so certain tank tops will look a certain way on you i've tried many that like don't really look like this on me but when i found these i bought like a whole 10 pack and it's all i fucking wear i bought black and white with fruit of the loom though they do have like many different styles of tank tops it's hard for me to kind of like tell you exactly which ones I got it's basic baby all I wear is fruit of the loom uh, tank tops and I'm also a very warm-blooded like my body heat is always very up there like high and so I'm always very warm and hot so you know I, I, I like wearing tank tops because you know I, I'm breathing but another thing another reason why I love wearing tank tops is that you can accessorize them and wear jackets now jackets I don't buy too many but I do have a variety so these are kind of like the main jackets I wear often I got like denim I got leather and I got like nice um, Dickies uh, material jacket this is actually one of my favorite jackets I thrifted this actually a lot of the stuff that I wear is actually thrifted I feel like this was also customly put together too this is a Dickies woman's jacket I believe this was a kid's jacket I'm gonna be honest it says Dickies right here too crop jacket I love it it's very lightweight again I'm always hot so something like this is like lovely right I prefer crop jackets because I'm also a short man I'm five Four. And what I've noticed with my build is that when I wear jackets that like go down a little bit lower It makes me look a little bit shorter than I would like to be and I also think I have like a nice ass when I wear crop jackets I feel like it brings out and gives the ass a nice like little lift and like a look again What I said before if you're constantly trying to find ways to uplift who you are already You're finding ways to lift all of your beautiful curves that beautiful stature of yours You know you really embrace it, you know, and this is a leather jacket. I got online actually this is from carb studios It's vegan leather now this leather jacket is a little bit It's a little longer down here than I would like you know all I need to do is like hem it up just just a tiny bit and it, I, it would be perfect for me. This right here, it switches up the vibe like completely. It's like a date night type of thing. The Dickies jacket is probably for like running errands and such, you know. Uh, another thing when it comes to the clothes that I buy, even though I don't shop often, I prefer physically being there to feel the material, to try it on. That's very important. In this case, I bought this online. I This was like an Instagram ad. Fell in love with it right away and I took a chance with it and I bought it online. It's like, it's like side quests, you know? Like you're just going about your life and and then you run into something, you see something that you like, you get it, you know, you get that piece. And then you have that there. Whenever it's time to bust it out, you bust it out. That's how I view it, you know? And so like, you know, a lot of the, a lot of my pieces, a lot of things I wear, I've bought over time. These little things that I have accumulated over the years. And before I knew it, I have like a bit of like an arsenal of like clothes that like I, I like to wear a lot. My sense of style is very minimal. It's very basic. It's very like, you know, um, mix and match. I like to buy pieces that I feel like I can wear often saves money it, yeah, less stressful for me and I still feel good in any of it as long as I'm washing my clothes often right when it comes to clothes for me I always feel like you are the one wearing the clothes the clothes aren't wearing you you know when I wear my clothes I want me to be prominent more than what it is I'm wearing it's still you under all this cloth right so you got to find ways to like feel beautiful in it now, other than the tank tops I also like my fair share of plain tees but there are many like plain tees in the world right um, coming in many forms different materials and such I often only wear 
wear this tee right here. Now again, this tee, you can find at Target. This is from a brand called Pair of Thieves. I've worn it so much that like it's faded. <laughs> um, I have some in white too. So like I said before, I have broad shoulders. I have like pretty nice arms and stuff like that. The length right here is short enough to where it's not too long, where it's like covering my tries, which I like to show off. The neckline, the neckline is so important. I never like a shirt that is like too high up here where it's like choking you. This is like a good balance in between a high and a low neck. Another important thing with this shirt is that the material they use is very soft, very light. I'm not a big fan of like heavy shirts, right? I like shirts that are very like stretchy a bit, you know, but not to the point where it's like a gym shirt. I've spent many years looking for the right tees. The only thing I don't like about these tees, and this is something that I can fix right away with a quick hem, the length of these tees are a little bit longer than I like. You don't want all your shirts to be cropped or like a little like too high up because there are certain occasions where you want to wear your shirt like all tucked in with like a belt, something like this, right? It feels beautiful, it feels amazing. I wear it like a little bit too much sometimes. Another thing that has helped me over the years too and something that I've only recently started doing a lot more in these past couple of years, hemming. Finding a tailor and investing a little bit in your clothes, whether it's pants, whether it's a shirt, making a little little bit shorter just to fit your body type correctly. Being a short man, this has helped me so much over the years when it has come to my pants. Sometimes when you buy like a beautiful new pair of pants, you want to wear them right away, you know, but sometimes they're a little bit too long. In my case, most of the time they're a little bit too long. And so what I do is like, I invest a bit. I bring it to my local tailor and wait a bit longer just so that when I can finally get it back, I have a pair of pants that I can wear for a long time and I know fits me right. I wear a lot of Levi's. Specifically, I would wear like like Levi 501s. 501s are classic Levi's. They're not too slim, they're not too straight, you know, they're like a perfect medium. I've worn baggy ass jeans, I've worn tight ass jeans. The balance for me, especially now in this phase of my life, I like a medium fit, you know, not too tight, not too uh, baggy. Levi 517s are a wonderful balance. What I wanna put emphasis on today though is actually these jeans right here, which I've been loving a lot. These are Tacova Slim Pants. They're made to wear cowboy boots, which I do wear wear a lot these days. I love boots. I love cowboy boots. And when I first got them, they were definitely a lot longer than I like. And so I brought them into hem and now they just fit perfectly. I do plan on going back eventually getting myself a black pair because I feel like a black pair I could wear it with um, a lot more clothes too. They're stretchy material. I love them so much. You can like, you can like really stretch in them, baby. Ooh. And that's also important to me when it comes to my, my pants. I, I need some like, some stretch. <laughs> now these are the next pair of pants I wanted to like share with y'all that I wear a lot too. These are Levi 517 straight polyester pants. They're meant to be cowboy pants also. They're a little bit more higher waisted right here. As you can see, I got these off of eBay. They're actually a little hard to find. I hemmed the fuck out of them. When they came, they were really long. After I hemmed them, and after I got these like cowboy boots, these Tacovas, this fit right here, I love it so much. I wear it all the time too, alongside like the Tacova pants. You know, for hot weather, you can wear them for a long time. My goodness, they definitely make the ass look fucking nice too, baby. My goodness. I usually pair this with like a crop jacket or something, like a Dickies crop jacket. Another thing that when it comes to clothes, you're body type really plays into the factor too. My silhouette for like a short guy, like I feel like I kind of I got lucky with the length of my body. I feel like I'm pretty proportioned even though I'm pretty short. And so when I wear pants like this, I'm glad that I can work it. At least to my eyes, I feel like I can work it. You've noticed that I wear my cowboy boots a lot. I wear my cowboy boots a lot. I wear them a lot, no matter what the occasion, even a fancy occasion, I wear them. Again, I do my best to find pieces that I can just wear over and over, mix and match. And that's, that's my sense of style. The hair is also an accessory, folks. <laughs> Everything you do, whether it's tattoos, earrings, you know, nose ring, glasses even. I got like a couple of glasses that I switch out of often, depending on the outfit, the occasion. But, like everything you do is a part of your style, you know, how you want to represent yourself. And fashion and clothes are so subjective and it's all valid. Whatever it is that you want to portray yourself as in this world, whatever you want to wear, whatever you want to express yourself, and whatever you feel beautiful in, that is the most important. What you find comfort in. A lot of people on socials have always like uh, clowned on me and said things like, oh wow, he only wears black. I've never seen him in any other color. And I have worn other colors, right? But. I just like black. There shouldn't be an expectation to like, you know, for everyone to be colorful and wearing everything, you know? If that's who you are, that's who you are. But if you feel beautiful in like neutral colors, then 
that's enough said. There's nothing else that needs to be said. You, you fucking, you know, make your statement with that. So those are like some of my favorite pieces that I wear a lot, actually. Um, I'm gonna be honest though, these days I also wear a lot of gym clothes. I'll make a whole specific video for all of the gym clothes I wear. Again, it's pretty basic. I wear the same shit all the time. I hope I was able to give a bit of insight on how I think when it comes to fashion and like my own fashion sense. Maybe it can help you a bit like, you know, on your journey of finding things that work for you. I definitely have a lot of other pieces that I want to share uh, in the future, you know, um, but these are basically kind of like, you know, my go-tos. Anyways, thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, share it with people that you think might be interested, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Mwah! Love you, baby.